I can't believe we're back here again. The fashion trends that are worth knowing in 2024. Hey beauties and welcome back. If you're new here, my name's Ivanka and I'm a fashion industry veteran turned full-time fashion content creator based in New York City. I post style and fashion trend videos weekly, so hit subscribe and stay up to date. I've talked about this before, but I have worked and lived through multiple trend cycles. So trend recap videos are my actual favorite videos to make and I just love talking about it. I've researched the runways and all the editorials that are worth knowing and I've gathered the top eight must-have fashion trends for the season. We all know there's so many trends out there. If you open up TikTok, there's like micro trend after micro trend. I'm going to give you literally the eight that are worth knowing and worth like your investment because one, they may be carryover from last season. So you actually might have something in your wardrobe already. And then two, they're probably gonna continue on through the fall season. So let's get into it. The first trend for 2024 is legs out. Think short shorts, think thigh high boots, think micro minis, show off them legs, especially now because spring summer is approaching, even though we're in the dead of winter, I'm aware. <laughs> So we first saw this trend kind of emerge around spring 2023 with Miu Miu and Loewe, but now more designers are embracing this trend. And no, I'm not just talking about bloomers embrace now. Like I know that's like a hot trend and it still applies, but we are seeing like micro minis and skirts and dresses and shorts and even some ballet core, which is another micro trend. Designers such as Marnie, Gucci, Dolce Gabbana, and Carolina Herrera have embraced the legs out enthusiasm. I honestly think this trend is still very fresh, very new. I also am loving it with the stockings. It's just a way for you to really transition it from like warm weather to cold weather. Like I know at first when this came out, a lot of people were apprehensive and it was very daring but I do feel like this season especially now we're entering into spring summer we're gonna see a lot more risk takers a lot more people play playing with this trend and wearing like short shorts and long coats I think we're just gonna see a lot of fun variations I really love this micro mini dress from Gucci and Valentino and Molly Godard with this cute little mini skirt as well as this cool blazer look from Max Mara you can even do like a blazer dress I mean really y'all it's just having your legs out so it's anything you can think of, even from like an oversized t-shirt. The next trend is girl core. So it's ultra feminine, glam, girlhood, honestly, however you want to define it. This style has been trending for some seasons now. And trust me, the bows are not going anywhere. I love this trend so much. Honestly, because I feel like I embraced it the most out of all the trends because I was never super feminine. I never wore like the bows. I never wore a lot of lace, but this past season, I went full in. I was just embracing my ultra femininity and I just felt so confident. I don't know why, but when I put a bow on, it just empowered me more. Embrace the lace, embrace the bows, embrace the pinks, because no matter what, you're gonna feel even more confident the more feminine you are. Think about texture, think about ruffles. Again, lace, shares, and pastels. All right, first and foremost, I have to start with the queen, Vivian Westwood, because she owns the corsets. She owns that silhouette and all of her pieces were just ultra feminine. And even though this is like a signature for her, even her bridal wear is really just having a moment. A Simone Rocha, don't even, just don't even, just don't even play with me. I, 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 this outfit just has such a hold on me. I can't afford it, but I have to say, if there was one piece that I could buy this season, it would be Simone Rocha. Like sheer, the flowers, the roses, it's so fresh. It's so new. I'm a little bit disappointed because I felt like this collection just didn't get as much hype as it should, but I really think these pieces are so strong. They really also bring a little bit more wear, I know it sounds weird, but wearability. Cecile Benson, I always feel like I'm mispronouncing this name, but I think I pronounced it correctly. Please let me know if I'm wrong. But her designs are always feminine, always ultra girly, florals, fun with proportions. Like that's another thing. When we think of like girlhood, no, it's not like tight silhouettes and being super sexy. No, it's about being playful. It's about being flirty with texture and bows. And of course, Prada. So Prada's collection was very soft. It was very flowy. It just, oh, it just, it was moving. It had so much emotion. All the layers, all the pastels, all the Prada looks were just gorgeous. And finally, Richard Quinn. Richard Quinn always bring in the quirkiness and I like that he played into this trend a lot and brought his own quirky brand aesthetic. Preppy, 
Preppy is the next trend. School is still in session for 2024. I'm here for the uniform refresh. I'm here for the librarian core, but not many brands partook in this trend and it's okay because a lot of it is polos, button downs, blazers, kind of classic sportswear attire, which not many brands have a key focus on. I just talked about David Westwood who does corsets. Miu Miu, for instance, bringing the flouncy skirt and kind of giving me a little bit more of like a flirty tennis girl vibe. I love it. Loewe is delivering trending polos and plaid blazers. Uh, they have like this pin like on their, I offer their pants closure, like this large pin hardware. It's so good. Okay, Celine and Fendi with their classic button downs and polos. I know it's not as exciting as the other trends. I know preppy may not be as like fun and playful. However, my previous role was a retail buyer and I worked for a luxury retail company. And honestly, what really helped us move the needle, what helped a brand sell were these core pieces, the button downs, the polos, the classic trousers. I think it's like important that designers are focusing on these preppy looks because they know that someone's going to buy them off the rack because they're once again more wearable and that's it okay so tori birch with the anorak and the mini skirt again legs out keeping it sporty also the color white i don't touch on it as like a big core trend the color white will be the color of the season so if you're also getting married this season you're in love loud and proud so statement pieces that make noise like consider it fashion asmr um gold metal pieces. I mean, Paco Rabanne, of course, is the number one brand that comes to mind, comes to everybody's mind. Versace sent down a lot of metal dresses this season. Claudia Shepard looks incredible in this dress. I wonder if she was really cold when she put it on. <laughs> Jill Sander, I absolutely love this dress. And I'm really excited that they're getting a little bit more attention this season. You know, it's like a, such a quiet, it's not a quiet brand, but I feel like it's been quiet for a few seasons now. So I like that it's having a little bit more resurgence. And then of course, Naomi Campbell and Alexander McQueen. Oh God, this piece is just gorgeous. Gorgeous. I'm ready for someone on the red carpet to wear this dress. Honestly, metal, gold, silver, anything with a sound effect. We're gonna see this trend a lot during festival season. Coachella, it, it's happening. Sheer, everything is transparent. Everything, you want transparency in your relationships, in your life, and in your clothes. For those who don't feel as bold to bare legs, totally fine. You can also play around with sheer. And first and foremost, I just want to mention you do not have to free the nipple in this trend. Just because the models on the runway are doing it doesn't mean that everybody else in life is doing it. Like, have fun with it. It's a perfect way to like leave some mystery, but also be fun and flirty. You're also going to see a lot of similarities with girl core because of the sheerness. Molly Godard, Dior, Acne. Oh, so, so pretty. But we're also seeing sheer in outerwear, like Dolce & Gabbana. I, this trench coat is so chic. The classic sportswear like Saint Laurent wearing just that simple tank and trousers. And the suit by Victoria Beckham. Love this look by Carven. It's like a nice layered look with a sheer Bermuda short. Again, like you're still playing to the trend, but you're making it your own and it's giving texture, it's giving friction to. I think this is a really smart way to style this trend. All right, corporate core, yes. Corporate is still a thing, but think about it more as business casual. It's taking a little bit of a slighter twist and a little bit more of like a casual perspective, which I like, it's relaxed, it's laid back. And also pinstripes are not going anywhere. I love the, this look by Schiaparelli. Schiaparelli, Schiaparelli, Schiaparelli. Mm. <laughs> I love this look. I love this designer. I just, I'm really bad with names but pinstripes, the bodice, the pants, mm, so, so good. Also these cuff shorts from Jill Sander. I think this is such like a nice way to put like corporate and make it more of like a relaxed vibe. We're gonna see more short suits. So instead of the full on matching suit, vest, everything else layered in between, you're gonna see more of a relaxed blazer with like little cuff shorts. Relaxed, summer Friday perspective. 90s, my favorite era. I love the 90s, everything from the music, the movies, the style. I'm a 90s nostalgia kid. We're gonna see less of Y2K and more of like Buffy the Vampire Slayer. 
and Sopranos and Rachel Green from Friends. You're gonna see a lot of simple white tanks like this Gucci look or David Coma. Minimalist looks from Saint Laurent. Love this clean leather vibe from Gabriella Hurst. This is Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Love the leather, but I love that we're seeing it in just like nice clean silhouettes, you know? And I think Rachel Green is having a moment with this Gucci. I think she is. Last and final trend, getting crafty. We are playing with proportions. So bigger is better, but smaller is also better, but not basic. You'll see what I mean. Okay, so extra large embroidery cutouts from Valentino. This super large pom-pom look from Bottega. I absolutely love it. It's not as wearable, but it's still fun, playful, and just imagine like we're gonna see some different interpretations for every day. Or just flounces from McQueen. Playing with that flowiness again. It is loud, it is big, out of proportion, but soft. So it's really touching on a lot of these trends that I covered. Obsessed with everything Loewe. So as I mentioned before, the pin, like Loewe is really taking that quirkiness, that surreal style and creating some really amazing pieces. We just saw Audrey Plaza wear this dress during the award season and she looked stunning. It was, it's just cool. It's different. And it's like gets people talking, but still it's very chic. It kind of has a little bit of a 90s vibe with that minimalist aesthetic yet surreal perspective. That is all for my 2024 fashion trend recap. I know I covered just more spring summer, so trust me, I'll be back with fall later on this season. So what was your favorite trend? Let's chat in the comments. I will be back next week with another fashion video. Don't know yet, but if you wanna see something, please let me know. Um, if you like what you saw, please hit subscribe. I will love you so much. I am also on Instagram and TikTok. I post there daily. So let's hang out. Uh, yeah, thanks again. Bye.